Okay, a new round of Space Station 13 is about ready to start. We are simply on Outpost 39. Not a very successful line of outposts, as you might be able to tell. And it isn't specialized in anything. And we are a miner. Not a trader or anything like that. I think this will be my exploration video. We'll go exploring in this, and um, by the time you guys see this video, you probably won't be able to do this. I think there's a new map on the way, so I'm just going to try to show some of the secret locations that were on this on this station design. I think they change them every time they change the station. But we don't need explosives. We don't need to go grab any of that. We're just going to put our helmet on here and get all suited up, of course. Turn the light on on the helmet. And, um... Trying to think of, I don't think we'll need anything from the main base. Everything that we need, we can find out in the field. Except for a crowbar. I do need a crowbar. Maybe a weld or two. Hopefully the music's not too loud, but I may just stop talking and let the music play through some of this video. So I don't know yet. This is going to be a pretty laid-back video, actually. We shouldn't be running into any traitors. We're not going to be battling wizards or fighting syndicate. Unless the admins have a little bit of fun planned. I don't need anything from my locker here, except for my goggles. My optical mason scanners there. Come on. Just put those on our eyes. And these allow us to see through the wall and take away the fog of war. You can't see anything that's living. You can't see uh, people or monsters or anything like that. That's what thermals are for. Put that crowbar there. I don't need the pen. I don't need my PDA. I I will keep this box. Let's take this crap out of it. Just throw it on the ground there. The box can hold some small items. And we're going to be loading up with as much stuff as we can carry while we're out there. I think just to be safe, I'm also going to take a welding tool. And you know what? A wrench. Why not? I'll throw it if things get bad. And... Oh, wait. One more thing. I'm actually going to take my cargo transporter here. Primarily because if we find any treasure chests... Um, and we're able to open them, I'll be sending the goodies wherever they go. Also, grab our, our mining pick here. Start mining our way out of this little, this little hell hole. Takes about, what, 10 seconds or so per stone that you have to destroy. And of course, you can click on it and spam it multiple times just in case you fail to destroy the rock the first time. And you can click on any rock that is around you. Now let's toggle that on. Don't need my pick. Get the hell out of here. I am done with you. We're not working this shift, we are on vacation. First place we're going to go is to get ourselves kind of a weapon, I think. Let's see, here's the AI satellite room. This has always been here. And you know what? We're actually going to change. And get rid of our mining suit, because if I see anybody, I don't want them to know I'm a miner. I want them to think that I'm a syndicate. Why not? And more important than that, the red space suit does not have any speed penalties. You run at full speed with it. Um... Should I take the power cell? I think I will for now. Maybe a use for it. I'm probably not going to build or repair any bases that we run across. But you never know. Power cells do have several uses, I think. I don't want to leave this D-level yet. The next location that we're looking for, actually the first location, I wasn't meaning to bump into the satellite there, but the first location I really want to look for is the Jurassic Station. And I think this might be it. There we go. The Jurassic Station is a pretty neat place. Um, it has the high-powered flashlight module here, which you can put in your PDA. To put it in your PDA, I think you just use a screwdriver on your PDA and then pop out the cartridge and then you can insert this and it gives you um, pretty much full screen light something like that and you can pro um, crowbar these doors open 
because they don't have power. And while we're in here, we kind of want to be quick. You'll notice there's a tame a man-eater and a tame space bee. These things don't care about you. You can come in and pet them. I think the only thing you have to worry about is the clown spider that is up here. And we're going to kill him. There's banana pills that litter the place. Here's the clown spider. We crowbar it flat into the ground. And he drops clown shoes. If you want clown shoes, I guess. And he's got his PDA here. Don't really want any of them, but they're there. Pretty neat. A throwback to the clown. Never forget the clown. There's a friendly killer tomato here. And um, there's another one. Hello, little guys. There's another power cell. I guess I didn't need to bring one. And here we've got a dino food crate. There's some meat in there. Mystery meat and carp. We're going to send that to the quartermaster, I think. And maybe he can get it to the chef. So we'll send it to the cargo bay. And real quick. Let's close that back up. There we go. And we'll teleport the dino food crate away. We only have a certain number of charges with the cargo teleporter here. Nine charges left now. That should be more than enough for everything that we're going to send. What do we got? Data banks here. Bruise packs. There's that man-eater. The next item is over here in this trash cart. Um, it is an awesome suit. Purple hat and a purple suit. The purple suit. A purple suit and a pink bow tie. It's potentially formal. We're going to put that on. We're going to take our miners overall, minor overalls off. Put this on. The hat, I'm also going to put on. So we're going to put my helmet in there. That hat is just so stylish. And let's see. Examining it, it's just a purple top hat. And I don't need these scanners anymore. If I need a pair, I'll steal one from the other miners' lockers, since there are no other miners. And these orange-tinted glasses here are actually thermal glasses. Thermal goggles. Very handy, very useful. In this room, let's see, we've got level 3 biohazard suits. A pizza donk pocket. A jack-o'-lantern hat that you can wear. A mysterious injector belt. I believe if you wear this and you put vials of um, chemicals in here, it will automatically use them when you get injured or something. I've never actually used it. In fact, let's do it. I don't have anything on my belt slot. So we put that on. And I, I think it's like a tool belt. Maybe. I guess I don't know what it is. We're going to wear it, though. And you can crowbar open these doors here. And in the middle you find oatmeal. But wait, upon closer examination you notice that there's little candy dinosaur eggs in there. They're molten hot. Be careful when you bite into them. We're going to put that in our pocket and take the spoon with us for the time being too. We don't need anything else in here. I think that should be it. Actually, hang on. What am I doing? I almost forgot a bunch of stuff out here. I forgot that that falls off when you take your clothes off. So we'll put our ID back on. My phaser gun. It can go in the backpack. That's going to be our primary way to defend ourselves, though. The energy cell. I'm just going to drop it. Uh, starting to run out of room already. The welding tool. That can go in the box along with the wrench. I'm going to turn this down real quick. I don't know how loud that is on you guys again, but pretty damn loud on my headset. So we're out of here. There's also an oatmeal cookie here. We'll eat that on our way out. It is absolutely delicious. We have pretty much a full tank of air left. The next place we want to go is... I'm not going to actually explore all of it, because it would take far too long. But the next place we're going to go is the Russian station. We'll just switch Z levels, and as long as you don't bump into the, um, into either A, asteroids, or B, 
Jurassic Station, you know that you're on the same Z level as the Russian Station. So just fly over for a while, not too long, and then go down and you should hit the Russian Station. I think this is it, yeah. I'll show you why I absolutely dislike the Russian Station. It's not too hard if you're patient, and it's definitely not hard if you have an, an energy gun or a couple laser guns with you. But it's filled with zombies. And the undead Russian lunges at us. Now you can you can kill them with a welder. You can kill them with an oxygen tank. The only thing is you have to kite them out for a while. Pretty much exploit their AI and cheese it out. And it's not something that I actually want to do. There's also an oxygen tank out here, apparently. A gas mixture. Air mixture. You can come in through the windows if you've got the tools. You know what, I guess we could do that. Instead of fighting all the zombies. Well, no. Because I'm not going to sit here and bash through all of these windows. If I would have brought a screwdriver, that would be another story. But yeah, I don't think so. the south here though there, there's my my mining suit that I threw out of the airlock so if we'd followed this across the Z levels we would eventually run into the AI satellite which we could set up if we wanted to and teleport back to the station or wherever else you can teleport to yeah so there's an undead Russian better step back he might be able to screw with me through the glass there I'm not quite ready to get numbed on. So you can go in there, you can blast your way in through there. You, I don't think you can crowbar the doors open, those fire locks, because they are rusted shut. And I don't know how to get the rust off if you even can. The other way to enter is over here, on this side of the station. And you'll see that there are man-eating plants. Yeah, and it yells at us, and gives chase. Man-eating plants are fairly easy to kill if you have a welding tool. I'm just not going to worry about it. Again, there's nothing in there that I really want to go over. There are a few unique and special items, but I don't think they're worth the amount of time it, it would take to go in there. If this round lasts a long time, I might go back there, but still want to show a few more things here. This is the next place. This is another really interesting station that we are actually going to try to go through as much as I can. You'll notice that my thermals did not pick up and show the zombies. So they do not help us at all here. This door is broken and cannot be crowbarred open. So is that one. This one, however, does open up. And let's see, inside we've got a plasma spore. You want to be careful with that. A sleeping pill on the ground. An antitoxin syringe. An EL5 disc. It is right protected. And if I'm not mistaken, it has genetics information on it. That basically helps you unlock every superpower. In here are two grenades, two cryo grenades. I may take one of them. What do we have in here? We got... Space Acillin syringe. And some Kelotane syringes, you know? I think I don't need them, but I will send them back um, to the station. Maybe the quartermaster or somebody will get them over to medical where they're actually needed. Or the quartermaster will just set on them until he needs them, which is what I would probably do because I'm, I'm a horrible player sometimes. We'll teleport this crate back to the quartermaster. I'm not going to alert him to it just yet. Primarily because this stuff's not important to anything. And through this door... I believe there's a zombie in here. There he is. A shambling scientist. I thought he was giving chase to us. He's walking down this way. Now, the zombie scientists will actually give chase and attack the plasma spores. Which, if you kind of just back up, he should automatically attack the spores. Which will blow him up and disable him. I haven't heard an explosion yet, though. Um, 
You know what? I don't think he's going to attack me, actually. Okay, so he doesn't care about me. Maybe because I'm in my suit and stuff, right? Maybe because I'm not bleeding. Through here, we've got nothing. It's a broken door. We br mm, I have a welding tool, actually, so we can cut through that. I was going to say I don't have a way to get through that unless I bash on it with um, a weapon or something. We have a stem pack in there. That is pretty useful. I think we're going to take that. Can I put that in my injector belt? No. Put that in the backpack. I don't know if we're going to use it or not. Let's see, we've got medical wardrobe there. And we have two phaser attachments. We have concussion and flash. Let's equip those to our phaser. Um, concussion or flash. So how about... How about concussion? I don't know if I've tried that one. We install it. Can I install both of them? There is an all... No, I, no we can't. Oh well, we'll just take one. We'll take the concussion one. That sounds fun. And let's check this room out. As far as I know, there is only zombies in this place. It has been a while since even I've checked it out, so it's possible things have changed. And that door is broken. This right back through there leads back to uh, where we came from. This area, you can see help scrawled on the wall in blood. Something has drug a body through here. All the way back through here, probably to feast on it. We're gonna go check out that area soon, but back here we've got, let's see, I think just regular, what, just a bruise pack, nothing special. We'll leave that there. It's pretty useful if um, you happen to damage, get attacked by the plasma spores, or by one of the zombies. There are at least enough supplies around here for you to do, heal yourself. And back through here, what do we have? We have an undead guard. He shuffles off, paying us no heed. And on the on this door it says Willard Jam's office. It's written in fancy gold letters. There's a space bear in there. It's waving at us. A friendly little little space bear. You'll have to go pet it sometime. And a headless body sits at this desk. There's no way to identify it. A clock radio, a sterilized pen, and an audio log. Let's see what's on this audio log, shall we? What do we have? It's 80% full, so someone spoke for a while here. Let's play it and listen in. Must I remind you, Dr. Garriott, that you are under contract? You weren't there. You didn't see what I... Your tone is not appreciated. If you're unable to control yourself, I suggest you leave. In fact, I insist. Our business is concluded. Speak with me face to face, you son of a bitch. Have we got any, uh... Wait, that's not it. So can so you can murder me with whatever plague you've engineered in my labs using my funds, Mr. Garriott? If you're not willing to leave, I will have security escort you out with neither suit nor shuttle to shield you. Think carefully, Bruce. I think that's the end of the log there. So Willard Jam and Dr. Garrett were fighting here. Apparently Dr. Garrett was fired. Hello, Space Bear. Do you have anything to do with this? In fact, it's probably best if you don't answer that question. I don't want you to incriminate yourself. Let's see, in here we've got Willard's suit and latex gloves. Let's examine the suit. Is it fancy? A black suit and red tie. Very formal and extremely clean. Willard Jam was an extremely clean person. He was paranoid of germs. <sighs> I think he was always worried about turning himself into a zombie. Let's see here, we've got a guard buddy frame, a terminal frame, and more plasma spores litter the darkened hallways. Here is another neat pair of goggles. Peculiar spectacles. Admittedly, they are rather strange. These spectacles will allow you to see ghosts. Pretty useful. And up here in the corner we have a bunch of artifacts all stacked together. Holy crap. There's like, what, five of them? Is that it? Yeah, we'll send all of these to... 
Um, to Zeta. Why not? I should, probably should send it to the Quartermaster so that they can sell them. And make a bunch of money, because more than likely Zeta... Actually, you know what? Fuck Zeta. Honestly, Zeta's not going to research them. I, I know it. I can feel it. Zeta's going to let them set on the pad, not research a damn thing. Because Zeta's probably all dead at this point. There's probably no scientists left alive on that little outpost. And it's probably burning. I haven't read chat at all, so I have no idea what the hell is going on. Whenever you go out in space, it's easy to get isolated from from the station. Somebody's dangerous. Somebody's people are screaming. If anything, clone him on, then continue to clone the corpse for meat. Um, AI has unpowered the kitchen. Saul Linton's a traitor. He threw a sonic grenade. I've never seen a sonic grenade. Apparently it makes you deaf. And the singularity is in the courtroom. So the station's being tore apart by traitors and singularities. And the shuttle's been called. So we have nine minutes to get through this then. Um, let's put this up. Actually, we have less than nine minutes because we're escaping on that shuttle. By At three minutes, I need... At three minutes ETA, I need to be back in space heading towards the station so we'll run past that undead guard and damn this doorway is bolted shut and I don't have the tools to deal with it and pry it open so let's see run through here hmm little bit of a dilemma here can I pull this scientist I really have to find out before I pull out my welding tool here we go buddy just delivering you to your new retirement home. Don't mind me. And let's get out that welding tool here. With a welding tool, you can instantly slice through these grills here. There we go. Put that back in the box, and we're out of here. I wanted to get the zombie out of here before I started banging on things. I didn't want to scare the poor guy. Inside there, we've got nothing. You know, might notice that there are wires and batteries laying all over the place. It is possible to get power on this station running again. You can hook everything up, get everything going, and actually have this place to yourself if you wanted to. I'm not sure why you would want to. Okay, the shuttle's going back. Thankfully. A whole bunch more medical crates here. We got Medicator tool. A Medicator Syringe Launcher Module for PR6S Guard Buddies. These things are actually outlawed on Earth. And I've got no desire to send that to Zeta, but you could. Or if you were the research director, you could come here and get this. And, uh, make your own little syringe shooting guard buddy, I guess. This little shuttle is unfortunately not powered. And I don't even know if you could power it up even if you got the station going. And if you did get it powered up, I have no idea where it would take you. I think that is everything, though. How about... You know, I'm going to take this disc. Am I missing something? For some reason, I have an empty slot in my backpack, and that, that kind of worries me. But we're going to get out of here. Hey, look, they even leave you a crowbar up there. How nice of them. But, where do I want to go next? I want to go back to the asteroid field, for one. And we're going to go to the smuggler's station, which is on the south side of the map here. We're in the bottom left corner. We want to go a little bit towards the center here. I believe the smuggler station is... This is not the smuggler's station. What do we have here? Is this a security station? No, there's a VR simulator and a VR simulation pod. And a shield right there. It's got solar power. There's a boomerang. And a bunch of crates. This looks like another station you could actually power up. Hmm. It is unfortunate that I got rid of my energy cell. We might try to power this place up, I'm not sure. Let's see, in here we've got a Romance the Evil Sorcerer arcade machine. 
and unfortunately has no power. Got a full set of eating utensils and a freezer. And inside the freezer is a bunch of flour, sugar, and oatmeal. Let's send that to um, the cargo pad. Now we'll have the QMs check their cargo pad if they haven't already. If they have, then they've been keeping up on top of stuff, and if not, then they've got a huge surprise waiting for them. In here we've got a teleporter pad. Huh. It does have in it, it does have power. Okay, so we turn that on and the teleporter locks on. Well, we could use that to get back home. Turn that off, no point in wasting power. We got outpost doors. I don't like the blood in there, there's blood in here. What is this? The shield. It is a small item. We turn it on, and it puts sparkles around us, and the light in here just went out. Why did the lights go out? Okay, the, the power cell is uh, about ready to run out. I was going to hop in the VR pad, clone pad there, but I think since the power went out, I'm not going to be able to. Um, what else do we have here? I'll just pick up this crowbar since it's on, on the ground. Maybe. There we go. And what is this? The crowbar open that door, and there's a small kitchen here. What do we have? A bunch more food. Bacon strips, dunk pockets, another fridge for the chef. Or for the quartermasters to sit there and just snack on. We'll send it back. We'll send it to him. Why not? I'm almost out of charges here, though. I'm down to one charge. And then we're going to throw this cargo teleporter on the floor and leave it. So we could even cook our own meals here. Pretty fancy setup. We've got bedrooms. Do we have anything in the chests? A gilded monocle. An exceptionally old and dappa piece of apparel for the eye. And in here we've got a screwdriver. Which would have done me good earlier if I wanted to break into the Russian station. Is that a full toolbox? Um, is it a toolbox? I can't... I can't drag it onto myself. There we go. Maybe there was a bit of lag. Somebody blowing up somewhere. And it's a full toolbox, alright. Full supplies. And here we've got two crates that are empty, and a boomerang. Well... Can I put the boomerang in the box here? No. I bet you the oatmeal can go in the box, though. There we go. We'll put that in there. And pocket boomerang? No, it is not a pocket boomerang. I guess I should probably keep the crowbar in my pocket, then. Seem to be using that a lot while we're out here exploring. And the boomerang can go in my backpack. It's just a boomerang, nothing fancy about it. We've got the energy power units here, the power storage units. That one is 30%. This one's 30%. They don't have any output, that's why. Let's bump that up to 10,000. Or 20,000. Let's bump that up to 20,000. Should start charging some of those these power cells around here. These are at 90. Let's turn this computer on. We should... Did that work? The equipment is turned on. How about the lights? Light it up in here. Maybe. Main breaker. Turn that on. There we go. Just flip switches till it works. And what do we have? We have a power monitoring, monitoring unit here. There's an engine control, which must be here. Outpost study, outpost control. What do we have? Outpost solar control. It's not picking up the sun at all. Before we leave, let's set this up so that the, the power units don't die here. Botany just exploded in a huge bomb. I hope the station holds it together. I'm gonna hate if I come back and it's all gone. Come on, solar panels. Just get a little taste of the sun. And then we can home in on it. And 
Any luck at 154? No. Try 214 degrees to the southwest. Any luck there? It's possible the sun is completely blocked out by the asteroids in the field here. Some of them are quite massive. About, about 375. Or 275. Going cross-eyed. Well, the sun might be gone then. It's vanished for good. I don't know how large the window is that the sun will actually pick up in. If it's 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. I might have been skipping around way too much, but oh well. We tried. Unfortunately, this outpost probably only has about 10 to 15 minutes of power at most. If I hop in here... I guess I'm going to hop into the VR simulator here. Hopefully it doesn't trap us. An advanced pod that lets the user enter vSpace. I am not too thrilled about this, but let's do it anyways. vSpace has been generated, and here we are. We're virtual us. We turn on the light, and we're in some weird shuttle. Start at a nice table. What about these doors? I've still got my purple suit on. Oh god, there's no way for me to get out of this VR, is there? I should have known better, honestly. I really should have known better. Um, let's take off the purple suit. That doesn't do anything. Black shoes. Well, all I can do now, honestly, is wait for the um, station to run out of power. That is the only way that we're getting out of here, because we'll run out of power and the VR machine will shut down and eject us. This could be an awfully long wait. Um, yeah, there's no way I can get these doors open. Got two airlocks, no crowbar in here. And a flashlight so you can understand how fucked you are. Can I kill myself in here? What if I die in virtual reality? Attack ourselves in the right hands. This is for science. We gotta do it. Let's set our intent to harm. We attack us in the head. The light bulb shatters. So now we're just basically gonna be clawing at our face with a light bulb. We knock ourselves out. We're unconscious. I may actually try to suicide and succumb, which... I have a strong feeling we'll probably turn me into a ghost, but then we'll go back to the station and see what's going on there. Yeah, that didn't knock us out of VR. I didn't think it would, but god damn it, we gotta try. So suicide and succumb here. Virtual Elijah is holding his breath like a big idiot. And we succumb. Did it eject us, dear god? Are we out of here? No, we're not out of it. Hmm. Can I pull it? There honestly isn't anything I can do. Click on it. Doesn't do anything. I can't even... Okay, yeah. Let's switch to my open hand. Um, I really don't want to try to move inside it again. Dang it. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. Let's see. Move inside. And we fall out. Okay, goodness. Let us not ever enter that cursed thing ever again. Um, I didn't leave anything behind, did I? No. Let's get out of this place. I don't like this research center. Actually, I want to try out this machine first. This is the area power. The, we'll turn the teleporter on. Where's the power breaker to this room? Maybe it's through here. Actually, these wires are cut. That could be a problem. We've got pro puffs on the table. Nice. And some donk pockets. Some privacy shutters. In case you wanted to research in here and not be bothered. From peering spacemen. We've got an outpost study. The lighting's on. Doesn't have any equipment. 
Um, they probably these doors count as equipment. We'll just pry bar them open. And what do we got? Power monitoring computer and a security computer. We've also got nano trace and brew and a station bounced radio. And the emergency shuttle's been called again. The equipment here is turned off, which sucks. Let's grab our nano trace and brew. Can I put that in my injector belt? No. Here, put the brew in the box there. We're going to take all of this with us back to CENTCOM whenever we leave on the escape shuttle. And there is honestly nothing else that I want to show out here in space, I don't think. How much air do we got left? Our tank is at half pressure. Um, what locations do we have? Atmospherics, bridge, teleporter, AI satellite, mining outpost. Let's go back to the mining outpost. We'll engage the teleporter there, and we're through. So let me just think here for a minute. I'm not going back to the Russian station. Because we don't have enough time to get through it. And I don't feel like... Like fighting through there. It's an awful hellholeish place. Even the Russians gave up on it. That should say something. There is a mimic blue toolbox outside the bridge. I think we're actually going to go back to the main stations and just fly around. Why not? We'll probably get shot and killed by somebody, but at least we've had a good round exploring. We didn't do any work, so CENTCOM, NanoTrace, and they don't have to pay us our wages this time. That was all off the clock, baby. And actually, I'm going to send the shuttle back and go out this airlock whenever we arrive. A window is open at the escape. A lot of extra flooring, crazy jerks. We'll call the shuttle, let it get the hell out of here. And lovely, this place is all tore up. The window's busted, so I didn't even need to send the shuttle back. I don't know if a bomb tore that up or if somebody broke through it. A massive bomb went off there. There's Hector Fleming, the dead electrician. He's dull and unresponsive. Let's check this area out. Thankfully the doors still work, they still have power. And the air is quickly being sucked out through there. Lots of dead bodies through here. Angelo Wiley. He's not dead. Um, might actually be able to save him here. What I need is my wrench. No, I don't actually. Hang on. Hang on, Angelo. We'll take you to some air, which is pretty sure what he, I think he wants. There, we'll wake him up. Ooh, there's insulated gloves in the kitchen. He may not have a way to get out of here. Unless he has a botanist card to get through this back door. I mean, he can't go through the front one where there's, where space is open. Wake up, Angelo. Do I need to get some smelling salts for you or something? It's possible he's been drugged or something, too. Slightly injured, eyes closed. Welcome back. He's got an, an electroshock pack on. That is... Weird, I'm gonna take it off. Might be brain dead, actually. Yeah, probably brain dead, oh well. Where's my backpack at? Put this box back in it. And we're good to go. This guy is definitely dead. He's just sitting on a tile in space. Roscoe Carr. Limp and unresponsive. There's an engineer, Isaiah Murray. This whole place has been bombed. All of engineering was taken out. What type of bomb would do that? There's a dead Martian and a bunch of banana pills all over the place. Don't tell me it was a banana bomb. They've sealed off the... Off the in... The in... Blah, j, j, they've sealed off the tunnel there. What the heck? I guess we'll take the long way around to the escape arm. Actually, the short way. 
I think the long way would be trying to navigate ourselves through this hellish, twisted wreckage of a mess. Just taking a slight detour. Tank is still close to half pressure, so we're not going to run out anytime soon. What do we got in here? Monkeys on the table. There's Captain. Hello, Hello Captain. It's just... It's just this shield thing, Captain. I don't know what it does. But I'm gonna take it anyways. And wear it. What do we got? He brought back Smokey Heinen. The head of personnel and fixed him. This is the cloning room. I haven't done a genetics test on it, a, a genetics video, but that's where people are brought back to life, where they're turned into superheroes at. And basically where dreams are made, especially if you're a changeling. So three minutes until the shuttle gets here. And someone's done a little bit of expansion on the escape arm. It is Abel Keener. Just doing a little bit of expansion, I guess. Not bad. Maybe someday we can have tables and chairs and vending machines at the escape arm again. And would you look at that? Quartermasters didn't even notice my stuff. Actually, I think they noticed a little bit. Yeah, they grabbed some of it. And then they probably got brutally killed. Ooh, look at this. A teleporter. I don't need this anymore. So we'll get that out of here, and we'll upgrade our cargo teleporter to a hand teleporter, because why not? Somebody got shot out of the chapel mass driver there, and left a trail of foam as he flew out. Or maybe he flew out and came down this way using his fire extinguisher. Maybe it's this person right here, Mr. Unknown. Chief Engineer. Let me guess, you're stuck in space with your magnetic boots on. That's my best guess. He's the Chief Engineer, I think, due to... I mean, he has a jumpsuit on. Who puts the Chief Engineer's jumpsuit on? Even if you do kill him, no one does that. Oh, well, I think he's stuck there. Yeah, he is. I'm stuck like a rock. How about we take your magnetic shoes off then? And we push you in. You brain dead? Probably so. He probably got stuck there, gave up, and said fuck it. Hey, we'll throw the shoes at him. And we got a minute and 30 seconds until the shuttle arrives. Someone I just got ate by the Singularity. Hopefully the Singularity hasn't made its way to the escape arm. I'm probably going to be shot and killed on the shuttle too, just so you know. Prepare for it to happen. There's a dead Martian there. Somebody's gasping. John Parker there does not have internals on, and this whole place has opened up to space, I guess. He's got a bomb. He just added a tank transfer valve to his backpack. If he's the one that's been making bombs, there could be a little bit of fun on the way. I'm not a cloaker. It sparkles. I shine in the sunlight. <laughs> I can't help it. And there's a rabid monkey down there. 24 seconds. Oh god, a bomb just went off there. Did we make it far enough away? Shit. I didn't think he was actually going to blow it up right there. Oh. <sighs> 
damn it. I saw my life flash before my eyes. I'm deaf, too. I can't even type right now. It was so dangerous. Oh, so everyone's dead, I think. Lots of body parts and gibbs here. There's two unconscious people. There's a monkey. I'm gonna I'll grab this person here. It is Perun Thursday. Let's take him in here. There we go. Captain is shooting people. Screw you, Captain. Is, did he monkey people that he shot? I think it is a traitor, Captain, because now he's just shooting random people. Oh, damn it. Did, I did get hit. <clears throat> oh, well. I got shot and monkeyed. It's a monkey gun. Here, Captain. Now we gotta get the Captain down. Actually, hang on. Oh, I'm gonna suffocate out, too. No, where's my backpack at? There it is, at the very bottom. I want my phaser gun. I don't know if I can actually use it. Apparently I can't drag and drop my body onto me. Okay, Captain. There, we can cuss him and he's down now. And stay out. Unfortunately, I do not see the escape shuttle counting down anymore. Oh. What do we have here? We'll authorize with the research director's card. I'm picking up my, my phaser again. No humans allowed, the monkeys say. Where's the captain at? Oh no, I don't want to go out into space and die. There we go. I think we got him with a concussion. And he is out. No humans allowed! Here, grab that gun back. I don't want to drop it, dang it. Shock the captain again. Yeah, the AI is nice. Why isn't the shuttle leaving? Yeah, there we go. Bye-bye, captain. Goodbye, humans. And the monkeys win. The monkeys are the winners this round. Awesome. Good job, monkeys. Nice try, humans. This round it just wasn't for you. Oh god, there was a human there. I can't pull him down, otherwise I would throw him out of the airlock. And just bash him over the head a couple times. There we go. Drunk monkeys for forever. What do we got, Bojax? Yeah, I gotta get a sip of that.